Hi, everyone. Welcome to Good Taste and welcome to Katona. This is an incredible restaurant in San Francisco. One of the food favorites, I think, of anybody. The city is so alive with so many fabulous flavors. And I'm with Tim, the chef de cuisine here at Katona, talking about this place. There's so many choices to dine when you come here to a city like this. This is if you really like the true rustic Italian, the way they do it in the home country, this is it, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, we have <clears throat> a lot of the dishes really feature kind of the cooking technique prominent here. We've got um, wood-fired appliance um, rotisserie from a manufacturer in Tuscany by Universo um, and wood-fired pizza, kind of Neapolitan style. Um, so, I mean, the presentation, a lot, a lot of it is a little bit more simple, but it's about the technique and the flavor of the, uh, the wood. Yeah. Well, and if you eat in Italy, though, it, everything is simplicity. It's few ingredients, but it's it's good ingredients and technique. Yeah. I mean, it's in some cases it's it's uh, just as difficult uh, to do it to do things very simply because you have nothing to hide behind. You know? you can't, <laughs> That's so true. You can't make fresh pasta and uh, not really you know not really get the texture right. You got to know what you're doing. Tell us a little bit about this oven. The, you don't see many of these in restaurants. Since the restaurant opened a couple of years ago, I think a few folks brought in this same model, but it's actually meant to be outside, and it's really a combination uh, rotisserie and grill. And most of the, the dishes you come to Katona you're going to have, chances are they've spent some time with Chances that. are, even the vegetables. The pastas here, everything made from scratch. Everything made in-house from scratch. And tell me about the pasta you made for us today. Uh, what I made for you is um, orecchiette which is a uh, southern Italian kind of origin from Puglia. Handmade, dragged across a wooden board with a butter knife. It's kind of only one way to do it. Very time-consuming process, I should yeah, say. Yeah, it takes a lot of time, you know. You can't do it for large quantities of people, I think. So it's kind of fun when you can do it on a small occasion to, you know, for, for something special. Yeah, and, and that does, it makes the dish so special. And you, you said this is traditional, you would think of this with tomato, but you've done something different here. I think, you know, I think a lot of uh, the dining public, maybe if they're familiar with Italian food and they know that about the pasta ship or the cafe. They associate with kind of like warm weather climate and the vegetables and the, the stuff you see kind of like in the south of Italy that reminds you of the basil, the tomatoes, um, which is popular with uh, orecchiette, but you also see it with turnip greens. And I've done it here for you guys with a little bit of cauliflower, some capers, um, and just very, very simple lemon juice, a little hot pepper. Well, it is a wonderful place. Again, this is in, on Jackson Square, the historic area of the city, right? A beautiful spot, and it's Katona. If you love Italian food, a spot you don't want to miss. Tim, thank you. Thank you.